Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be taking a look at, I shouldn't say reviewing because they're all loose Marvel Legends, but, or I guess one of them's not a legend, I don't think. But we have Moon Knight right here, Black Panther right here, and a really cool Captain America I found as well. So, three Marvel Legends, all of them, well, th one of them, I, I think this is a Marvel Select or something, but they're all really cool looking, is all, all you need to know. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be uh, taking a look at all of them one at a time here very quickly. These two I got at ValleyCon yesterday, and this one I actually got on eBay, and I just never got around to taking a look at it, so uh, I finally got to. Uh, so yeah, let's start with Captain America here. So probably besides Moon Knight, uh, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, one of my favorites. Uh, he did come with the shield. I forgot to put it on before I started recording, but uh, it has two straps on the back. You can just put it on his back, or you can have it on his uh, wrist, which best way I've found is to just kind of tilt his arm like this, flick this out, and there. Now it's on his wrist. So, yeah. There we go. Now he has a shield. It's not that sturdy. But, you know, it works for displaying. Let me do that. But, taking a look at the paint for a $10... Well, actually, I got them for 5 at ValleyCon. Uh, the only paint issues I see is right there. The brown smudge. Other than that, uh, maybe some minor, like, chips and smudges. But, overall, looks awesome. Looks great. Definitely glad to, you know, have them. Definitely cost a lot less, costed me a lot less than a modern Marvel Legend comic Captain America. Um, so yeah, it looks great. So, can look basically 360, uh, sort of like that. Starts to kind of slow down uh, after a certain point. He has, it looks like it's supposed to be double jointed uh, elbows, but the glove gets in the way so you can't really use them. So more the more so just ninety degree elbows. Um, fingers move. Can open and close his hands. This hand is more of a Captain America hand puppet, you know. And then this one is a little more of a sort of grabbing fist. Yeah, you can get this one to a fist way better. I shouldn't I shouldn't call that a fist. More just a kind of a fist. You can cheese it right there. It kind of looks like a fist. So yeah. Looks good. I like him a lot. Um, articulation, I mean, you can get him into a lot of good poses. He has toe articulation, so you can get him into some cool crouching poses or running poses, I'm sure. A little bit of sticky putty, and you can get him into basically any pose. That's weird. It looks like both the legs are connected. So, but grab onto one, whatever. So, yeah. The boots kind of remind me of, or the legs kind of remind me of, like, a goblin Superman sort, like a green goblin sort of boots, and then kind of Superman-esque. The paint is lighter, the blue on the head, arms, and legs, and is in the torso and crotch area, so that's a, weird, a little weird, but yeah, looks great. And his shield, I mean, has, like, three scuff marks there, and then on the side there's, like, a white paint dribble, so. But you can just chalk that up to he got in a fight, so yeah. Pretty cool. Second one though, this is just gonna be a speed video. I just wanted to show off a lot of these. But the second one is going to be this Black Panther I found, or at least I think he's Black Panther. Um, basically just all black with blue highlights and then blue uh, gloves and blue boots. So yeah, looks pretty cool. He only came with these hands, his clawing hands. So, you know, looks like he's ready to fight. Uh, basically, he's just your basic Marvel legend when it comes to articulation. Get him into some cool poses. He's a pretty basic figure. I mean, the only defining feature of him is his head. So, you know, nothing crazy about him. So, yeah. Get him into some cool poses here. And this has absolutely nothing wrong with the paint. I mean, it's hard to mess up. All it is is just... Oh, right there a little bit just black and blue so 
got a hair in there, I guess. So, yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks very good. And then, give me a minute, I forgot his accessories for Moon Knight. Alright, I got them. So, here we have Moon Knight. And he comes with his baton here, which you can also, or his staff, which you can turn into batons if you pull it apart. And taking a look at the figure himself, uh, he looks great. I mean, he only came with these hands, which I'm fine with, because I guess you can kind of choose it and do a punch from the side view a little bit. But I was most likely going to use him with his uh, batons all the time anyways, and it was the cheapest I could find him, which was 40 bucks, And definitely worth it. Uh, I wouldn't have returned him. I mean, he's just a great figure. Um, basic Marvel Legend articulation again. You can, I, I think he can go back a little more. Can kick, do some crazy, not quite splits. So, you know, I think he looks awesome. And you can just stick his... I usually have his batons apart when I'm using them. I don't like the or I don't like the staff together as much. I like him having a weapon in both hands, but you know I can see how I can definitely see myself using his actual staff at some point. So yeah, there's Moon Knight. Looks pretty great. Um, get him in some cool poses as well. So yeah, no, this is definitely my favorite of the loose. Uh, Marvel figures that I found. So, no, I really like him. I think he's great. So yeah, again, this is gonna be a speedier video. I mean, so far I think I've been recording six minutes, but I mean, when it comes to loose stuff, it takes away a lot of time because there's a lot of less accessories. Uh, I'm trying to get three figures done in one video, so I can't, I can't really go in depth on all of them. So yeah, we'll do some size comparisons and that'll wrap it up. So yeah. All right, here they all are next to each other. It seems like Moon Knight towers above them. Uh, he seems a little taller. It looks like he's over six and a half inches tall. Captain America is closer to six and a quarter. And same with Black Panther, sort of like six and a quarter. From my angle anyways, I'm sure he's actually... Kind of closer to six inches, so um, yeah. No, I think they look pretty great uh, when it comes to scaling. And let's get them next to some other figures. So first up, um, I'll just do the ones I have next to me. We'll do the Demogorgon here, which towers above them, and Sir Owain, both from last video. So you can see them next to each other. They are all they look well. They're all on a smaller scale compared to these guys. And then next up, for man, I did not have much for size comparisons today. We just have Anti Venom here, which is another Marvel Select. We have Spider Man right there. So, yeah. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. I know it was quick. I mean, I was just trying to get through it as fast as I can. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a shorter video. Uh, I hope you don't mind. But please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, at this point, uh, we have a day left until I want to hit 100. So I, it's the third, and I want by the fourth to have 100 total. So yeah, um, please make sure to like and subscribe. I am uh, also on Twitch. Uh, it's October, it's spooky month, time to do some scary games. So please make sure to check that out for a face reveal and a few other... Uh, gaming things and join the discord so you can tell me what figures you want me to review as long as they aren't 300 dollars, i'll probably look into them so yeah um but i also if i'm ever debating a figure i'll probably put it up there for you guys to decide too so but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye